<laughs> so for good dupes, <laughs> good dupes, <laughs> for for good soup day six, I wanted to make a pozole with butternut squash. Let's see if it's good. Okay, for good soup day six, I want to make a pozole. I've done pozole on the channel many times before, so I'm going to do something a little different for you guys. Um, the butternut squash to me is like the real October, November star. Like usually if you have a pumpkin pie, it's typically not all pumpkin. It's usually butternut squash in that can. First off, I need to get my squash peeled and cut. But first, let me know in the comment section below, which squash do you want to see? This fun looking squash right here or this fat little stubby one? I kind of want to go for this fat little stubby one. To me, it looks the best. This one's a little sus, as the Gen Zers would say. I'm only gonna do like half of my squash too, because I don't really need that much right now. So my peelers are kind of shitty right now, but as one of my old chefs would tell me is, a poor craftsman blames his tools. So I'm just rolling with it. Like I said, typically I wouldn't peel this. I would roast it in halves. Just gonna cut nice uniform pieces so it all cooks the same. Now I wanted to do butternut squash for this because I think this one has a really nice texture and flavor when it comes to pureeing it for a soup. It's really creamy. So for those of you that really like pumpkin spice, I've done a video on pumpkin spice, uh, it's like lattes with uh, butternut squash. It's really nice. That's just gonna go in here. Then just a uh, yellow onion, probably half of this guy. I don't need that much. I'm not making a soup for 10 people. I'm making a soup for two. And also, since this is all gonna get pureed, it really doesn't matter how I'm gonna cut this. I could just cut everything all, you know, the same size roughly, and that's it. So I'll probably just take the end off and then do equal size cuts. The chiles. This is a Wajillo Chile, this dried guy right here. This is gonna be the star of the dish. I know the squash, yes, the star, but this is the flavor when it comes to the star of the dish. So I'm gonna do about probably about this much Wajillo Chiles. And then we're gonna do some of these oregano flower buds, really beautiful little buds from them as well. Cumin as well is gonna get tossed in there. So I'll put the cumin in now. The chiles, what I wanna do is I wanna de-seed them first. So all this stuff, that just comes on out. Now let's get on over to the pot. We're gonna get some oil in here. Generous amount of oil because remember we're not working with any meats here so i want a good amount of fat and then just tossing in all of my veggies some of those oregano buds are going in season that of course just saute this a bit till the onions get a little translucent squash gets a little bit of color Now I'm going to add in those wajillo chiles, let those reconstitute. Some chicken stock that I made a little while ago, that goes in. And then I'll add in another one, so about one and a half quarts. Then that gets the cover. Let that go for around 30 minutes or so. Now let's get back to this area. Oh, I gotta lower the ISO, I keep forgetting. Okay, while that soup is going on here, 
I'm gonna work on my garnish for the soup. Now, typically a garnish for a pozole is cilantro, some cabbage, some sour cream. Of course, the hominy goes in, but that's not a garnish. I wanna do a more fall themed garnish. So I'm gonna do acorn squash. I'm gonna roast this off hard. And then I'm also gonna serve it with some pepitas. So let's just get this acorn squash. Let's get this acorn squash ready to go. Um, I want it to be nice little rings. So I'm just gonna cut it like ring way. Ring way? I don't know how you'd call it, whatever. I'm gonna slice little circles. Then I could just go ahead and scoop off those excess seeds. Also, sorry if I'm a little quiet today, guys. Um, just been feeling like really overwhelmed and just a lot going on lately. I was like uh, just laying down the other day and the room started spinning. I'm actually wearing like a, like a freaking heart monitor for like two weeks. So that's fun. But if I don't sound uppity up, that's why. These are just gonna get a touch of olive oil, salt, and then some Aleppo. Aleppo, all over that. I love Aleppo, especially on acorn squash. That just gets tossed in the oven. Comment down below which bowl you think I should use, cause currently I don't really know I really like this one. I'm really liking this one right now. My friend made me this one. It's really nice. Um, I think aesthetically, I'm between these two. Aesthetically. Not sure. What do you think? Left or right? Left or right? Got a brand new blender, everyone. Super new, thanks to Breville. Thank you, Breville, for sending me this stuff. I love you guys' products. It always works great, it always lasts. No problems here. So new that the plug cover's still on it. That's a great feeling. Once your squash is nice and soft, just like that, we take it off the heat. And now this is the easy part. We just put everything into the blender. Everything goes in. Go ahead and like. Like and subscribe. I've never made this before. We'll see if it's good. <laughs> Season that a bit. Whew. A little tasty taste. Always taste your food. I gotta say, that's actually really nice. I like the wahio with the squash. That's a good combo. Okay, now the hominy goes in. That's gonna be all the flavor, basically. That goes in. Soup goes on top like that. All that comes out. And then I'm gonna do some cilantro. Now, what I'll do is, I'll save the tops as some garnish and the stems are just gonna get chopped up and thrown in for that flavor. A lot of people don't realize this, but most of the flavor from cilantro comes from the stem. I was thinking of doing sage for this, but the flavors I'm getting with that wajillo, I don't want sage. I'm still craving cilantro. Be put in there. Up, real good. Back on the heat just for a bit. Now we're basically ready to plate. Oh, let me show you the, the squash that I got. So here's the acorn squash. That's what the squash should look like after. That's a beautiful garnish for the top of our soup. And that is good soup day six. Pozole with butternut squash. Good soup day six. Good soup. Day six, butternut squash bosole. And that's a short intro. See, that's how we do it. We film multiple intros in case you fuck up. You want a new one? You got the point. You want to try it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yum. 
Oh shit, that's really good. The harmony is really soft and good. So is it good? Mm-hmm. Works? Really tasty. Comment down below what soup you want to see next.